we're able to add a video to a particular uh, chip in the uh, balance area here for operator training. Now we're going to add a little bit more. We're going to add more media to it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add audio. So to add the audio to the task, we simply click on the audio and then we click on the start recording. So now the operator is performing the task. We stop the recording. That audio is going to be put onto the uh, playback here. So if I save this, and now I, you notice now it puts a little icon in here. That's indicating that it has an audio, and an, an, a user-defined narration has been added to that particular piece of video. Right? And if I come back out of this, and I now point at this little guy here, notice at the bottom right-hand corner where it says, in the yellow area where it says position part, you will see a little audio, the little uh, speaker indicating there's audio being attached. We're now going to go back in, and we're going to add more media to it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a document. So let's say you get a document that describes this particular task. I'm going to come out here and go to my documentation. And that's the task 5, so I'll call it Operation 50. And I click on there, and now it's attached a document to that particular uh, chip. I can also add a note, so I could say, um, be sure the area is clear. Right. So this is the, down here we can add a full document document to the uh, particular chip. Here we're just adding a little note. So for instance, if I exit out of this now, you'll see if I hover over that particular area, the position part, look at the bottom left, i.e. down here. There's a be sure the area is clear. Right. If I like to play this now, if I hover over it, you'll notice that um, it's also showing me down the bottom right-hand corner, not only the little um, uh, speaker for the audio, but the little uh, green icon indicates our document. If I click on this to play it, it'll bring it up for me. And you can see here I have the documentation, now it's playing it. You, you may have heard the, the audio going over the top there. And at any point you can click here and it will actually open up the documentation that supports that particular task here. Let's say no here. So here you can see an actual little outline of the uh, work area and some instructions for the operator have been attached right here. So these are all attached to that particular chip and you can replay this again and again uh, as many times as you want. Yeah, ov obviously have access to slow motion. Uh, you can also replay any task. Uh, you can do the repeat just to let it cycle around. So, for instance, if I play it and I check on the repeat. So now the operator is performing the task. It's going to do it again and again.